We are going to be trying out a Wuban flashlight. If anybody comes over the brow of this cliff, they're going to be blinded, put it that way. Right, so we're on a cliff. I feel like a lighthouse. <laughs> Right, so here we are. We are camping in South Wales at the moment, and we are going to be trying out a Wuban flashlight. Now, I suppose a torch is a torch, isn't it? That's what I always think. But apparently these are meant to be quite good, so we're going to give this a little test run. We are going to go for a walk down towards the beach along a cliff, and hopefully this torch will prevent us from falling off. I hope. So let's have a look. I believe you switch it on like so. Um, I don't look. I don't read instructions. But what I have done is watch somebody trial one of these on a YouTube video. And apparently, oh, it's got different settings on. Ooh, that is quite bright. So, at the moment, it's quite dull. Let's go and give it a whirl outside when we go for a walk. And hopefully, it'll stop us falling off cliffs. Let's go. Kids, ready for walk? Let's go. Put shoes on. Right, so as you can see, the <coughs> sun is just starting to set. Um, it's a beautiful campsite we're on, by the way, down here. You've got the coast, all the beach over there, and uh, well, there's another little beach, a little cove. And about, <coughs> it's about half a mile walk. And this is what we're just going to go and have a look at it. And see what it looks like at night. Is it nice? Um, people seem to be going down there. And we haven't really tested it out yet. So we've got we've brought along our high gear torch, which is what we normally use. And we normally find that to be quite adequate. But this is a this Wuban is actually a tactical torch. I don't think I'm really tactical, but let's see how we go. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not going to be needing it for warfare down on a Welsh beach. <laughs> It's quite dark. It's I'm time to use the flashlight. Look at the view in there. Let's have a look what we can see in the dark. Never been to the beach at night before, unless if it's powerful, which will be in another video in a few years. So the headwinds are going for the dark adventure. Yeah. Out at night. <laughs> it's lovely in here. We thought it was going to be a really bad day today, but it turns out to be. Sunny. Yeah, quite sunny today. It's Welsh weather for you. So that's the view from just outside our camp. Right, let's go and take a wander down. See how far we can get before we fall off a cliff. <laughs> or will the Wuba come to the rescue? Right, so at the moment, even though it might look quite light on the phone, um, it's actually pretty dark. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to, down towards this beach and it's all downhill and it is down a steep path and we are next to a cliff. So on the end of high gear, can you see the high gear? Well, this is what we've used in the past. Pretty good, as far as I'm concerned. But what I'm going to do is give it a go with the Wuban. Wow, oh my god. Full beam. So this does have different strengths on it. Two, three. Oh god, can you see that? Is that the last one? one oh that's the four. Two, three, one, two, three. That's three modes. And that's lit up. I'm like really impressed with that. If anybody comes over the brow of this cliff, they're gonna be blinded, put it that way. That is just <coughs> That's, that's actually shining. We're lighting up the cliff on the other side of the beach. <laughs> right, so yeah, if we put it on tactical, so as a tactical, it's going to flash. And um, I think if you're in war or something like that. But this is, I mean, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, how far that is shining. And we can see the whole path ahead of us now. So that's got to be a good 50 meters is like completely lit up. There's actually a campsite in the field there, so I can wake them all up with it. Oops, it's in the Right, so we're on a 
look at that. I feel like a lighthouse. <laughs> you have ships keeping away. It's an amazing bit of kit, this is. No. We'll put a link on the video for this torch if anybody fancies it. Because this is really an amazing bit of kit here. Look, you can see. Look, so if I turn it off again, can you see this? This is just a little part in front of us. Phenomenal. Come on in. Go and see the sea. Dad, well, we're definitely not going to fall off the cliff. Dad, why don't you try and like... You can pack the boat with the same time as the light. Well, you can't even see it. So, Bo's just asked us to compare, the, uh, compare both of them. So, there's the Wu Wuhan. Uh, there you go. <laughs> there's no... There's, there's just nothing there compared to this one. Look. So you think we're lighting up the cliff. That has got to be That's about 300, 400 metres away and we're lighting up the cliff over there. I'm worried if I actually point it up in the air by mistake, we're going to have planes landing. <laughs> There's the beach. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry. We're blinding people down there. We just put their lights to shame. Wow. They can't see us, fortunately. I hope there's no lawsuits for blinding um, skinny dippers at midnight on the beach. Hi, <laughs> gear. And this is the Wuburn. It's <laughs> setting two. <laughs> setting three. Well, show off yours. Where's yours? Have you switched it on yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this torch. It's like a portable suntan machine, this one. This is great. I mean, it's a torch, isn't it? What can you say about a torch? It's more than a torch. This is just lighting up everything. I mean, like I said, it's tactical. Not that we'd ever need that. Well, don't we never need it camping? But when you're Please. camping next to a cliff, ideal. But I think it's just ideal because, like I said, it's got the different settings, so you can knock it down. So it's on setting one now. And if you see that, that's probably about the same as the high gear. How do you change the settings? Is yours on? See, even on one, what? it's knocking the spots off the normal torch. And of course, this is uh, like a rechargeable one as well. This is even better, you just plug it in as you would do like all the normal electrical gadgets these days. There you go. So, oh, there's the flash. That'd be tactical. It's tactical, isn't it? There you go. I'll follow you. This is instant daylight. <laughs> I want to have a go at that. Are we going this way? Wow. Are we going this way? No. So you can see Amy's got the high gear. That's um, about as much use as a candle at the moment, especially <gasps> down here because it is getting darker and darker the further we go. So. So that's on the minimum setting now. You can see it's still outshining our normal torch. What you do is you press, there's a little handle at the bottom, a little switch. That's setting two. Setting three, look at that. Setting four, so it's four, four settings. I thought it was three. It's just me being a bit heavy handed with my thumb. But that's incredible. So that clip. That's probably like 30 foot, or 30 meters away, I suppose. Let's have a look. We're just going around the corner and see how far it goes. We don't, we've got to try and be careful that we don't blind people. Whoa, whoa. Right, so there's a steep cliff. Look, look at this here. So you can see how far that is lighting ahead for us. Beautiful scenery in the daytime. At nighttime, it's a bit uh, precarious. See, look at this. Wow. So look at that down there. <laughs> See the rocks down there? Yeah. So we're up, what, 150 metres? And you're actually shining. And you can see the rocks down there. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. 
I don't know. I think it would last a bit longer than 12 hours. settings is that now? Two? made it back across the cliff thanks to this torch really um, I think we may have uh, scared away some ships from shore and probably blinded a few skinny dippers on the beach that we weren't expecting to see but incredible bit of kit in the box you get a strap in case you want to strap it to you know it's got a strap there so it's more secure to yourself and you have the charging lead again just a simple charging lead so we've actually been out probably for about three quarters of an hour, an hour, hasn't dimmed at all. Um, unsure how long it will last, but we might charge up again now and uh, we'll go around tomorrow night and see how we get on there. Maybe go and scare some more wildlife. Brilliant pit of kit. I definitely would suggest getting one of these. Anybody that's doing any night activities, you know, or warfare, then it's a must. <laughs> 